Okay, and we'll judge this as training level. So we want to see, I, I'm already thinking the transitions need some work. What do you think, hon? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. She's using a lot of whip stuff. <laughs> All right, very obedient canner. He's a little behind the vertical, so I'm gonna stay with the seven. And now she's locating the circle at the wrong place. By the open door. It's like in training level. So first thing I look at is the quality of the canner. He has a nice jump to it. The balance is fine for training level. The only thing I could say in the training scale is sometimes she gets him a little bit too, too tight in the neck. Accuracy was okay. Transition actually was good. I would finally go an eight on the transition because it was very straight and she finally let the neck come up and the pole come out a little bit. The nose came out. So I'm staying with the seven, seven, eight. Okay? I think you could have all eights and maybe some nines but you have to go to the master first, okay? <laughs> now already in the trot, I'm seeing the haunches falling a little bit left. The canter departs a little bit gradual. He runs into it a bit and then has to catch his balance by bracing his neck, so a six. She lost a little bit of the line of travel coming down the rail. Ooh, and the power steering isn't quite there. But the quality of the canter is very nice. It's got a good jump, good balance to it, but still a six. And a seven on the transition was very smooth, but fell a little bit off the wall. So I kind of think I'd like you to go work with them before we do the first level movements. Okay. Okay? Sounds good. Any questions about that so far? You all see a little bit. So, so far, the black horse is winning the test. They're both pretty equal gates-wise. I like them both, but the one is a little bit more secure in the training scale. Okay, can, can we have the chestnut mare for here? Down here for a moment. And uh, how old is she? Five. five, okay. So, at five years old, I would expect just a tiny bit more suppleness, a little bit more rideability, that, that you simply gain a little bit more control. Yeah? That she just came off what? Okay, no problem. But um, you, you agree with me there? You want her just a little bit more adjustable. So first of all, when we, I, I think it was kind of neat to see the difference between both horses because you know, your horse was sometimes, as Janet said, a little bit too, too tight, a little bit too low in the neck. Yeah? She was sometimes simply too free. Yeah? And I think it's so important to, to analyze clearly in our mind what is actually the real reason for riding the horse a little bit longer, a little bit, a little bit more open. Yeah? If a horse is unbalanced and we see it coming down the long side and you feel him, you feel her uh, not really straight, not having proper balance on the circles, then to me that's a really good reason to leave the horse very long. Yeah? It's like the same thing with a person that walks on a, on a, on a wire. It needs a long pole to, to balance himself or herself. Yeah? Same thing here, but what we're seeing with her is um, not just so much um, just balance issues, but tiny bit resistance. Yeah? And if you say, well, you know, if I just keep keep working and be patient with that, that's great, but you still have to confront her a little bit about those moments when she does brace and when she, when she is resistant. Yeah? This idea of developing the correct muscles does not happen just from, from stretching. Yeah? Putting a horse momentarily together, asking her to use the proper muscles. Yeah? Let's start with some very simple ideas and walk. Yeah? And let's teach her when we go what, and we simply ask her, what happens when we go from the hall to the walk, from walk to the hall? Yeah? Let's get her a tiny bit more in front of the leg. And you have to, and I'm sorry, let me have your name again? Angie, I'm sorry. And you have to decide, Angie, when you follow with your hands, which is great, 
Is my horse taking advantage of that? You follow me? That is wonderful that your horse, that you follow and that you're very kind to her. And I appreciate this approach much, much more instead of cranking a horse together and riding with force. Yeah? But there's that fine line in between where you say, you know what? I, I have to set limits. I have to set guidelines. Yeah? And Angie, what's the most important part in your horse's body that you need to train? I'm sorry? Her back? No. The hind legs? No. Her mind. Her brain. Yeah? That she understands what you want from her. It's that simple. Yeah? So you got to teach her early on when you apply a little contact and when you add a little leg that there has to be some, something has to give in her body. Something has to release. Yeah? So once again, start with a few transitions. Walk hard. And good. Halt. Yeah? And now put her on the bit in the halt. Right there, you were, you're, you're too kind to her, yeah? That's great that if, let's say, your horse would have some issues and she's very low on confidence and she would, let's say, back up or some horses would start re re rearing when we do this too soon, then I would say, you know what, definitely, let's back off, let's take it really easy. But she is at a stage where she is saying, what do you want from me, yeah? Shorten your reins a little. Now she's leaning a little bit in your hand, that's better. And now go forward, walk. She, she came a little bit above the bit and you kind of just accepted it. Yeah? So why not at that time halt again and tell her that that's not okay by gently tapping her with the whip and she braces herself out of the connection. Yeah? And you simply teach her early on this is, it's not okay when she grabs the bit in a resistant way. Yeah? And halt again, little tap, 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 tap. That's it. And halt, 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 halt. Make your point, make your point. Be a moment a little firmer. Praise her. And make a clear difference between her being good and being bad. Yeah? Very good. Forward walk again. And think about it. When she has some, some basic misunderstandings and some moments of resistance in the transition, walk, halt. I guarantee you she will do that from walk to the trot. And I definitely put money on going from trot to the canter, that she'll give you some resistance too, yeah? So simply raise your standards, test early on, even before you even start the warm-up in trot. Try a few transitions and do a tip, address it, yeah? And halt, 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 stop, 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 stop. Make your point. You asked for the halt, she took another four steps, yeah? She's five years old, she's not three anymore. When she's two, three weeks under saddle, at three years old, you can accept those things, yeah? But when she's five, you don't need to accept this anymore, yeah? And halt again. Sit down, much better. This should be her standard, yeah? Now, think about it, Angie. When, you're, when your halt doesn't work, do you think she, she will respect your half halt? There you go. It's that simple, yeah? So make those transitions very clear to her. It doesn't take much effort in her in her body, but it takes a little effort in her brain, yeah? So that's what you want to address. And walk again. Your reins were too loose, yeah? When your reins are that loose, you're giving her a perfect chance to brace again, yeah? That's it, and halt again. It's getting there. Perfect. And let's take this idea into the trot, yeah? Shorten your reins just a touch. And stay in charge, yeah? When, why not a little correction right there? When she comes above the bed, why not gently a little tap to get her attention and say, come on, sister, this is not okay, yeah? You follow me? If you let it slide every time, like you did, there you go, perfect, praise her. If you let the slide every day that she braces herself out of the connection, she will continue to do this. She will get more fit by, by riding her every day, but she will not get stronger because she's still not using her, her proper muscles, yeah? So, tap, tap, so, and praise her. That's it, very quick. It's not the strength at that time, it's simply the timing saying, come on, this is not okay, yeah? That's it, and you're not being too forceful by teaching this, yeah? So, yes, okay.